Actually, I can remember doing my first drawing at school when I was about four and a half years old. I was completely inarticulate, you know, Lancashire lad. Didn't talk about much apart from football and fighting, really. The only articulate skill I had was in drawing. And that became a way of thinking as well, a way of remembering things, a way of thinking, working things out. It's as much a language as anything else, you know, dance, music, mathematics. It's a, a visual language of its own and really immensely valuable f for me. Uh, it's been supplanted by all kinds of other things like photography and so on, but you can't think through photography in the same way. It's like radio and TV, you know, they, they don't exclude each other. There's a role f for both of them. It's not until something comes along that tries to supplant the original thing that you begin to understand the proper properties of, of the thing that's in danger. And drawing was in danger. Figurative art was in danger all the time I was at art school. I was despised for being a figurative artist. And I thought, fuck you, I'll get on with it, you know, because this is uniquely interesting. It requires another kind of intellect that has nothing to do with verbal articulacy. It's, it's a language in itself and still remains so. <laughs> do you think that structure of drawing affected, say, your photography or your collage? Yeah, because you work everything else out in drawings. I worked everything out in drawings all the time. I think like that. I think when I, when I see something, I think of it as a drawing. I mean, it's a fantastic illusion because there aren't lines around anything. No other animal does it. You know, we, it's uniquely human. And no matter what machinery or what AI, what, what else comes out, there's no substitute for it because it's a, it's a human mind cutting things out from reality and suspending them in a certain way and, and turning them around and understanding them. Very much like recording. You know, recording is another interesting, weird phenomenon that always interested me because you take a piece of time out of its context. It's like looking through a microscope. You, you, you take something insignificant and give it great significance by separating it from its context. And drawing does that. So you can examine something properly. You can look at it and relive it. Also, when you draw humans, you draw your own body in that position, but you do that mentally. And that is, it, that's like telepathy. You imitate, as, you, as you're drawing a figure, you imitate that figure, you inhabit it, but in the abstract. It's a fantastically interesting process. I don't understand it at all, but I love it. And I'll never stop doing that.